Hey guys, Jason here. So, I got my uh, three wire slip ring from Missouri Wind and Solar today. And I was going to install it. Woo! Look, it's slipping. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So, anyway, I was going to install it, but the winds keep picking up today. So, I'm going to use this piece to help demonstrate what I want to do. Um, and while the wind's not blowing right now, I thought I'd come up here and show you. Uh, here first. Where this piece goes on the uh, on the turbine. Now the reason I'm putting a slip ring on this turbine is because this is just a 10 foot pole. And I don't have much wire down at the bottom of it. So while the wind is not blowing, hopefully I can get up here and show you where this piece goes on the turbine. Just in case you guys don't know, some people might not. Okay, hopefully the wind doesn't... Okay, that piece is right here. Right there and it bolts on back in here there and remember I left a gap up here between this piece and the top of the pole so there's a gap in there so and that's why I one reason why I left this gap so anyway I'm gonna get down off of here before the wind starts picking up and the thing wants to try to chop me up into little slice and dices okay and I'll use this to show you what I'm planning on doing. There's a storm coming in tonight and it's supposed to be rainy all night, but tomorrow they say it's supposed to clear up, so hopefully I can get this done tomorrow. So, you got your, uh, your cap thing here. And the way I'm going to mount this is you take the wires and Slide it up in there, like so. Now this, I mean, you, some people might say, oh, that's upside down. Well, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But look, it slides right in there. If I can get my hands out of the way, well, my one hand. So you slide it right up against the bottom there. And then you just tighten those screws and you don't have to tighten it massively tight because you might crack that uh, plastic. But you tighten those screws up with a screwdriver. There's a screwdriver laying there. Let's see if I can just kind of give a little demonstration here. Um, with one hand demonstration. Push it against that. So you Snug that up. Snug this one up. <laughs> and now you got a slippery. And the wires are spinning all the way around inside there without having to do anything to your Missouri Wind and Solar. It just pulls right on. Um, now, this is a one inch. Uh, clamp on the top of these things. This is their newer mount top. I think the older mount had a three-quarter inch and so with the three-quarter inch one you just take that out, you flip it over and run the wires up uh, to the top and tighten it down. Or you, if you're still using the old mount you should probably upgrade it because the upgraded mounts are a lot stronger. They're a lot thicker. You could upgrade it if you wanted to, but either way, turbines, winds are blowing a little bit, a little Chinese turbines going, the other one's not yet, but yeah, I was going to do this, but it's getting too late and the winds are already starting to pick up. So anyway, um, 
I'll do this tomorrow. So this is the way I plan on doing it. And if you have to, this uh, you could take this. Um, One-handed videos are great. Um, see, this is just plastic. This this ring on here. So you could take some tin snips and cut that plastic right off, and then you could just hang this whole thing, sit inside the pole, and just have some wires coming out the top to hook it to uh, your PMA or your PMG. This one has the PMA on it. The little 500, uh, and then you, so you hook the wires to that. And you clip this thing off. You tuck it into the pole, and the weight of the uh, extension cord or whatever the wire that runs all the way back to your charge control room will keep it from um, twisting up. You know. Woo. But yeah, I mean. Slip ring is going to be good on these uh, short poles. So hopefully that will help you guys. Um, I'll try to get video of it when I'm doing it. I'll have to do it off and on because I can't work with just one hand. As you see here, <laughs> it's really hard. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, talk to you later. Bye-bye.